as the new spirituality and literally being embraced around the world. 1 Timothy 4 verse 1 says, Now the Spirit expressly says that in latter times some will depart from the faith giving heed to deceiving spirits and doctrines of demons. You know, I've traveled around the world interviewing people uh, who've been on drugs, uh, psychedelics, practicing yoga, under hypnosis. Uh, there are about a couple hundred ways to reach an altered state of consciousness. In a normal state of consciousness, your spirit operates your brain. In an altered state, you've loosened that connection, allowing another spirit to interpose itself, tick off the neurons in your brain, creating a, a universe of illusion. It talks about they will give heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. One of the big things today is channeling, communication with spirit beings. Uh, it's in the business world. And as, as I said, I've traveled around the world interviewing people, and I can tell you this, there is a commonality of the information that comes to them. They all get the same revelation from these spirit entities. Paul talked about the doctrines of demons, 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 1, that would be involved in a deception which would also occur in the name of Christianity. He talked about many people that uh, would lead people astray, and this was what we see taking place. One of the greatest deceptions that is occurring in our time is happening in the name of Christianity as people are embracing a form of Christianity based on extra-biblical experiences.